Alex versus Eric, game number two, starting up here. Let's get it going. Broadcasting in five, four, three. Alrighty, how's it going, guys? Live here, Corn Flakers with you from CPG Gaming. Thanks for checking in. We got a StarCraft II match between Seedzy and Eric. This is game number two. Eric, a.k.a. Zimmerman, playing the Zerg. And we see Protoss, a.k.a. CZ, a.k.a. Alex, a.k.a. the Grey Mantle, a.k.a. Go Daddy Shot Guy. I don't think he's a.k.a. as that. Playing Protoss. A little bit of banter going on between both teams. Cornflakers here from CPG Gaming, casting this StarCraft 2 match for you from the Algoma Games Activities Media and Entertainment Club up in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada, here on planet Earth. If you're watching from anywhere else, I salute you. Thank you for coming out and checking us out. Appreciate it. Earthly love. Not, not, anyways, it's not my thing. So, we have that early pylon coming down from Seedsy. What can that mean? That can mean a bunch of things, ladies and gentlemen. It could mean fast expansion, could mean forge expansion, uh, could mean the forge, he goes up there. This is a four base, so we do have the bases uh, around on the sides. This could be a base, that could be a base, this one and this one. So four bases potentially. It's going to take some luck from Seedsy here. We do see the gateway going down instead of the forge. So probably just going to be getting some zealots. Um, just a little bit of farm going on by both teams. Um, Zimmerman sending out those overlords just to check out what's going on where. Got a bunch of nice little hexagons here on the bottom of the map. Drone won't be staying long in the middle. And I wonder if you get all four around the outside. Because one thing that I wonder is that if you get these Exil Naja towers... You have to keep someone there at all times, which kind of sucks, because it's like, if you get the tower, you build it, you should be able to leave it. This is a fall apart, it's not like your person's holding it up or something like that, but I guess, I guess the person is actually like standing in the tower, theoretically, so I, I guess that's fine. Anyways, we do see that spawning pool coming down by Zimmerman. Could mean some early Zerglings. We'll see if he researches Cybernetics Core. We see that Cybernetics Core coming to block off that uh, drone there. I wonder how much of... Seedsy's base, Zimmerman did see not a whole lot. He saw enough. He saw the cybernetics core, obviously, and the gateway. Um, he didn't get deep into the base. Seedsy, however, still has no idea. He knows he's not up there. He doesn't have the... Um, Seedsy doesn't have that forge, so the fast forge expand is certainly out of the question for this Protoss player. Uh, not really looking at anything important at the moment. My apologies. Pylon coming down here to power something that's going to be going around the Nexus. We do see the cybernetic score, the gateway, nothing currently being produced by either. We could be seeing potentially a Stalker can attack ground and air if Zimmerman, with that early expansion, does decide to go for Mutalisks. Um, we do not see the Speedling purchase currently. Uh, if we take a quick look at the resources here, we can see that the Zergling player is up about 100 minerals, soon to be about 200. 22 out of 26 supply, already filled out. Same with CZ, pretty much 22 supply. That second hatchery, definitely going to be giving the Zergling player the early advantage in terms of the resource race. Uh, early expos are definitely... Well, we see a Stargate going down by CZ before any units are built. We do have a Stalker coming up. And we do have upgraded air damage. It does look like the Stargate will be going down to produce either the Phahonix or the Void Ray. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do say Phahonix. That is how I pronounce it. Don't make fun of me because it hurts my feelings. Phahonix, Arizona. Yes, that is the reality. Also, the reality is that we have another queen coming out. That queen coming down here to say hello to this hatchery, to make this hatchery her home. And we have one of the Zerg cocoons coming up with a drone inside of it. Pylon here to power these two. We have that Stalker shooting over top of the Cybernetic Explorer, which is researching that air uh, upgrade, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a Void Ray coming out. Um, looks like this could be potentially harmful. Seeds are definitely going with a pretty interesting strategy. I wonder if he will grab Stalkers or a, a High Templar or something of the sort, because those Void Rays will definitely be in either the middle or the back of the fight because they do have that range 
They can attack those. Uh, they're just going to have to stay away from the queens. Uh, if Zimmerman does have two of them already, with how much? Um, nine damage apiece. So roughly 10 damage, so 20 damage. I wonder how much health Avoid Ray has. It's 150. I wonder if they have to go through the shields first. Not 100% sure. We'll see what happens when it unflurls. Unflurs. Unflurs? Not too sure what that word is or how to use it. But we do see dual gateways going down, so we could see a uh, Zealot push. No pylons up here for CZ. He does have, or did have that, um, he did have that probe up there walking around, checking things out. But I'm assuming it did get destroyed by either one of the queens. Um... We do have a couple structures being completed, i.e. these pylons down here and the uh, gateways soon to follow. And um, we have those uh, void rays waiting to go. Uh, spawning pool finally done researching that zergling speed increase. Uh, nothing too crazy going on here for the zerg player. Just some more void, uh, void rays being built. And we have a fleet beacon going on, so a mothership potentially coming down from the Nexus, um, that is definitely a very, uh, it's definitely going to be very quick, a very quick tech uh, by Seedsy. Potentially it would be helpful if he grabbed one of these expansions for that extra gold that could speed up the process, probably buy a couple upgrades in the process, mass an army or so, of some sort. Um, we do not see, um, we see those Void Rays actually going around. Uh, checking things out, checking out where the enemy is, um, microing those around the map. We'll see if there is an attack brought on, because Zimmerman, like I said, still only has the bulk of his units are in the Zerglings. We do see both players kind of vacating their main bases for the uh, ex ex expansion. And we do see these Zerglings will probably be going down either just to grab a little bit of vision or to attack a little, an early game harass, try and get this wall down here. Uh, perhaps Banelings might be the answer, and I think that's what Zimmerman might be going for. We do see that hatchery going into a lair. We do want to know where these uh, where these void rays currently are. Um, there they are, up in the top right hand corner of the map, just flying around like it's nobody's business. And. We're just going to follow those for a smidge until something happens. And nothing crazy going on. We do see that spore crawler being dropped from Zimmerman. Spore crawlers and spine crawlers around the base to protect. Uh, I wonder if they have a spore crawler. Uh, no, they do not. Not around here. But I do wonder if this spore crawler here along the mineral line, this one up here, that'll definitely be enough to take care of these void rays here. Uh, if they focus it, which they are, fantastic job. But the uh, health buff going on to it, will they be able to drop this queen? Fantastic work by CZ. Will he be able to drop another? I would probably just end up focusing that spore crawler. CZ going for that second queen, two queens down. Two queens down, two void rays down. Definitely a fair trade in my honest opinion. Uh, it would be really nice doing a bunch of damage to that mineral production line. Definitely disturbing it quite a bit. Got those queens coming up though. They will be able to drop that other void ray. Two other void rays still up. One up. Will it be able to get away? We will see here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be able to see if that void ray can get away and just do a little bit of damage. Yes, it will. Definitely out of range. Seems he turning around. I don't really know. Understand why? Getting away with 23 HP. Fantastic little micro job done there by CT. Does he have key in the meantime? Ends up building a couple zealots from the base and uh, upgrading that nexus soon because that fleet beacon is down. So, ah, there we go. We can see the mothership will be coming up potentially. That is when CT will launch his attack because you cannot let that Zerg get. Look at those Zerglings. That's just, it's a beautiful sight to see. It truly is. I do believe. Uh, I think we have three by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three by eight. Eight times three is twenty-four, I think. Three, six. Yes, it definitely is twenty-four. So we have twenty-four and almost have thirty-two Zerglings. That would be beautiful to see. A eight-bit onslaught of Zerglings would be rather hui hui at the moment. 
the layer producing another queen because CZ did bring down those two effectively. CZ, um, oh my mistake, sorry. CZ with that uh, expansion finally. Um, so that'd be nice. Let's see what Zimmerman can see here. Um, Zimmerman definitely has, uh, oh, the Overlord uh, channeling in some units there, the Overseer. Uh, doing a little bit of damage to Seedsy's uh, production line, definitely getting down that uh, that warp gate there, which is probably going to be pretty huge, or the gateway, apologies, which is probably going to be pretty huge in the sense of uh, Zimmerman now being able to push directly into the base, taking that Nexus down, but actually the Nexus will warp more than likely into a mothership before anything can happen, unless Zimmerman makes a pretty swift attack, which he will not be doing. I think he does have that uh, oh man, he has uh, 48 plus Zerglings. They will be going down to say hello. Uh, he does have four bases now. That is absolutely unreal. Um, just a vast outnumbering of uh, resources by Zimmerman. Sitting at about a thousand minerals. Um, about 200 more minerals than Seedsy. 200 more gas. And about uh, four more harvesters. So we will see them morph into Banelings there from the Zerg player. Banelings more than likely going to be rolling into this mess right here. Potentially will be rolling into the Nexus. Uh, who knows? Zerglings going first. Taking the brute of the damage, trying to distract the enemy team. Uh, maybe if we can try and get some of these down. How much damage does the Mothership really do? Doing enough to those Banelings. Those Banelings going in, destroying CZ's entire army. It's definitely heartbreaking, and with that warp gate down, Zimmerman will just come and surround the base. That could very well be GG. We do have the mothership up. Will the mothership be able to do anything? It's just kind of floating around. CZ says he has nothing to do with this game anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for checking out game number two, where Zimmerman takes it. Zimmerman, with the second win in two games, takes the best out of three series. Zimmerman will be going up a few notches in the StarCraft II Algolio Games Activities Media and Entertainment Club ladder. Um, I do believe this is game 45, 46, 47, or 48. One of the few. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. I've been Corn Flakers from CP.